Hey guys, welcome back. So we're gonna do a little bit of a video on Go, but before then, you know, I really like this jacket. I got it from Target and I went dancing the other night and a Korean lady that I danced with asked if I was part of BTS. And if you don't know who BTS is, they're a Korean bar boy band. And I was like, no, I'm not part of BTS. I can just, I can just dance. I am Chinese and not Korean at all. So there you go, lady. But anyways, for today, I want to talk about nested, uh, nested structs in Go. So the trouble I was having was that I was trying to pass in parameters in the right way to Go when I have uh, parameters that I wanted to fill in for event dance and parameters that I wanted to fill in for event struct. So what we're building is we're building a dance app and this dance app we're gonna allow people to make events and these events are going to have dances like the dance that we're gonna do at the event. So we're gonna have a table for event dances and we're gonna have a table for events. So when I create an event, for example, I actually create the event dance first because event dance, this struct has an embedded struct in it or nested struct, whatever you wanna call it. I suck with terminology, I just know how to do things. So this event struct is basically here and it is embedded within event dance. And we have this JSON event so that the parameter that we're looking for that is supposed to be passed into the JSON is event, which is here, if you see it in this event.js file. So with that said, um, when we are moving from the front end, you could see that I'm passing all these values, which are the values in event dance, and they're either gonna be true or false because they're either gonna do the dance at the event or they're not. So it's true or false. But we also have this event struct and it's looking under the event parameter that is gonna be passed in. So inside this event parameter, it's gonna have all the values that are identical to the event struct. So if you're looking here, it says start date, we have a start date there. End date, we have an end date there. Um, let's see, we're looking for description, we have a description there. So everything that is inside this hash that belongs to this event key, that is going to be what is what the event dance struct is looking for for when we're building the event inside the event dance struct. All the dances on the other hand, we're just going to throw them in there by them by their own one by one in our in the JSON that we're going to pass in. So with that said, if we look at the function here or the function here, the event update, this is called when we when we're when we go, when we get hit through the main.go, we're routed to this event update function, and then at some point we're thrown to the event update function in the database in our models. And once, once we get to this function, we will uh, first do a JSON decoder in order to decode our JSON request body and put the fields, these are the fields in the object, and not the user object, but the event dance object. So all these fields that are from the front end are gonna be put into this object and everything that's under the event that's going to be put into the event struct. So I've repeated that several times so I hope I made that clear. So once we did that and once we made it all the way we validated the events and we sanitized the 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 things that were passed in the inputs. Once we made it through there, once we do that db create event dance, that will create or event dance. And remember, I said there is an event dance table and events table. So there's going to be two things that are created, the event dance row and the events row. So all these dances are going to be created as an event dances row in our event dances table. And when we create that event dance, since we also have this event struct, it will go ahead and go to the events table and also do an insert of all the values that are inside this event hash uh, that is passed in from the front end. So that will also create an events row in the events table. And notice that 
since we do this create with and since event dance has an event struct in it that means that when we create that event event dance it will also create the association between event dance and events because there's a one-to-one -one association you can see here that events there's a foreign key for our event ID so really event dance belongs to events so that's all I wanted to go through for today it's something that I had trouble with today on how to pass the parameters correctly nested parameters correctly to some to to go when we have a, a nested struct like this so I hope that helps Please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already and join our mailing list if you like these videos because you're going to get a lot of free content like this of teaching you some weird weird stuff about things you might know or things you might have trouble with that I'm learning as well. Uh, but anyways, please rate, comment, subscribe, join our mailing list and I'll see you guys next time.